Welcome back, future criminologists! In this video, I will be discussing the rule on the writ of amparo. Writ of amparo It is a remedy available to any person whose right to life, liberty, and security is violated or threatened with violation by an unlawful act or omission of a public official or employee, or of a private individual or entity. The writ shall cover extralegal killings and enforce disappearances or threats thereof. What does the right to life, liberty, and security means? The right to life guarantees essentially the right to be alive. The life to which each person has a right is not a life live in fear that his person and property may be unreasonably violated by a powerful ruler. Rather, it is a life lived with the assurance that the government he established and consented to will protect the security of his person and property. The right to liberty was defined by Justice Malcolm to include the right to exist and the right to be free from arbitrary restraint or servitude. The term cannot be dwarfed into mere freedom from physical restraint of the person of the citizen, but is deemed to embrace the right of man to enjoy the facilities with which he has been endowed by his creator, subject only to such restraint as are necessary for the common welfare. The right to security includes the following Freedom from fear Guarantee of bodily and psychological integrity or security Guarantee of protection of one's right by the government Coverage of writ of amparo The writ shall cover extralegal killings and enforce disappearances or threats thereof Extralegal killings. These are killings committed without due process of law, legal safeguards, or judicial proceedings. Enforced disappearance, on the other hand, is the arrest, detention, or abduction of persons by or with the authorization, support, or acquiescence of a state or a political organization, followed by a refusal to acknowledge that deprivation of freedom or to give information on the fate or whereabouts of those persons with the intention of removing from the protection of the law for a prolonged period of time. What are the elements of enforced disappearance? The elements of enforced disappearance are 1. That there be an arrest, detention, abduction, or any form of deprivation of liberty. 2. That it be carried out by or with the authorization, support, or acquiescence of the state or political organization. 3. That it be followed by the state or political organization's refusal to acknowledge or give information on the fate or whereabouts of the person subject of the amparo petition. And 4. That the intention for such refusal is to remove the subject person from the protection of the law for a prolonged period of time. Purpose of the Writ of Amparo The Writ of Amparo serves both preventive and curative roles in addressing the problem of extralegal killings and enforced disappearances. It is preventive in that it breaks the expectation of impunity in the commission of these offenses. It is curative in that it facilitates the subsequent punishment of perpetrators as it will inevitably yield leads to subsequent investigation and action. Nature of Writ of Amparo An amparo proceeding is not criminal in nature. While the principal objective of its proceedings is the initial determination of whether an enforced disappearance, extralegal killing, or threats thereof had transpired, the writ does not fix liability for such disappearance, 
killing, or threats, whether that may be criminal, civil, or administrative under the applicable substantive law. It partakes of the nature of a prerogative writ that does not determine guilt nor pinpoint criminal culpability for disappearance. Rather, it determines responsibility or at least accountability for the enforced disappearance for purposes of imposing the appropriate remedies to redress the disappearance. Now, let us discuss the state participation in writ of amparo cases. State participation is an indispensable element for the issuance of writ of amparo. Proof of disappearance alone is not enough. It is likewise essential to establish that such disappearance was carried out with the direct or indirect authorization, support, or acquiescence of the government. Applicability of command responsibility in writ of amparo cases. The doctrine of command responsibility is a rule of substantive law that establishes liability and by this account cannot be a proper legal basis to implead a party respondent in an amparo petitions. Since the application of command responsibility presupposes an imputation of individual liability, it is more aptly invoked in a full-blown criminal or administrative case rather than in a summary amparo proceeding. The obvious reason lies in the nature of the writ itself. When is the writ of amparo be issued? Upon the filing of the petition, the court, justice, or judge shall immediately order the issuance if the writ, if on its face, it ought to be issued. Further, the writ shall be served immediately. Quantum of proof in application for issuance of writ of amparo. In a petition for a writ of amparo, the parties shall establish their claims by substantial evidence. When is the writ of amparo not available? 1. For protection of property right. Writ of amparo intended to address violations of or threats to the rights to life, liberty, or security as an extraordinary and independent remedy beyond those available under the prevailing rules or as a remedy supplemental to these rules. 2. In labor dispute. Employment constitutes a property right under the context of the Due Process Clause of the Constitution and does not constitute an unlawful violation of the right to life, liberty, or security. 3. For protection of right to travel. The right to travel refers to the right to move from one place to another. The court held that a person's right to travel is subject to the usual constraints imposed by the very necessity of safeguarding the system of justice. 4. Inclusion of name in the order of battle. Mere inclusion in the military's order of battle which is not supported by independent and credible evidence, stands on nebulous grounds. To end, please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more videos.